Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're just going to do a quick little project. It's pretty cold outside, so uh, I'm not getting too much done outdoors right now. Um, so, I did have a stove jack for my hot tent, but I kind of just pieced it together. I actually want to take some time right now and actually build a proper one. So this stove jack, I'm going to be modeling off of uh, a stove jack that I've seen Lonnie build on... Uh, I believe it's called Northern um, Bushcraft. I will put a link down in the description to that video. Um, I might, might modify it just a little bit to uh, my own specs. But basically, um, I have a, a window here for my ice fishing shelter. So I drew out on a piece of welding blanket um, the dimension. And basically, so what I learned last time is with fiberglass welding blanket, it obviously just strand, comes apart in strands. Um, so I got the sewing machine out and I actually just learned how to sew. This was my second stitch ever. Um, so it might not be the best sewing job, but it's going to get the job done. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a stitch here. I'm going to put a stitch on this side. And... Uh, I might not even put a stitch on that side yet. So for sure, I'm going to be putting a stitch here all the way around. Um, so that way when I cut it, at least some of the fibers are going to stay together. But I'm not cutting around. I'm actually going to go a little bit past. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fold this section under it. And then I'm going to run another stitch on it. And then um, instead of getting Velcro uh, glue on Velcro, I'm actually going to cut out this window because this is one of my spare windows and I'm actually going to stitch this uh, back onto here. So that should uh, work perfect. I actually might leave some of the rubber on, on the outside uh, to help give it a waterproof layer but we will be siliconing this as well. So there's my first stitch job. Not too bad. Could have been worse. So I'm just going to cut this out. Uh, I'm going to finish my stitching. Then I'm going to stitch um, the Velcro on. So there we go. I got, uh, got the Velcro all sewed on here. I got that all sewed on. I mean, it's not the prettiest stitches, but not bad for my first time. This fiberglass material is is uh, actually pretty hard to work on a sewing machine. So I guess if I can sew this, I can sew anything. So there he goes, uh, sewed up my circle. So this is gonna stick in like this. This is gonna give it a bit of waterproof layer. I'm gonna cut some of this plastic back. Uh, I'm gonna put some silicone all over this. And that's also going to help keep all the, sh the fibers together. And it's going to give uh, this end waterproof layer just in case any water does come through. But I think that's going to be a perfect stove jack. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, I know, like, like I said, the stitching job is, is horrendous. But this is day one, so it's only going to get better from here. There she is guys, all finished up. 
Um, I did end up putting some silicone, just some generic silicone, um, all over it. So it gave it a nice, a nice silicone layer. So now it's gonna be nice and waterproof. Uh, like I said, I did keep the plastic of the window. Uh, I did put some silicone around the threads here to kind of give it a little bit of protection. Uh, so this should be able to handle the heat from uh, the pipe. I guess time will tell. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys. I got a nice, nice snug fit now. So, well, there we go. So I think that's gonna be wicked. I'm sure I'm gonna get a little bit of melt, but uh, overall, I think this is gonna work awesome. So, thanks again, guys, for joining me on this build. I said nice and cheap uh, DIY stove jack. Just requires uh, a welding blanket, which is about uh, $14 ish. Uh, a, a tube of silicone, uh, a sewing machine if you have it, or you can do it by hand, and uh, just a little bit of gumption. So, if you guys are liking this content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.